guess in a very good way, those classes and our one hour classes are always a struggle because I want to do more and I would need more time. So I'm, I'm the guy that, you know, does or promotes more defensive jujitsu. Uh, all those things, it's already getting more around. So uh, today the topic was you guys chose that uh, you keep your enemies close but elbows closer. Yeah, and uh, so now the second class is turtling from mount also. Uh, so I'm going to try in an hour, I, I think we can do it in a little bit. I can show how I train also, how I teach during seminars. Uh, I usually do like uh, eight hour seminars during the weekends. Uh, and we only do one thing basically, it's just eight hours of keeping our elbows close. And it's actually going to be fun. You know, it's not like just, you know, eight hours. So today I'm going to try to give you a glimpse of it, of what we do. And we're gonna just take a small amount of complexity. Now I can show you that, let's say, you can also be a very high level defense, you can also have a very high level defensive skills. Uh, it's just the complexity sometimes it's too big and you can't manage it. Um, and so that's why you lose. So today is about elbows. We have all four positions. I just very lightly go over them. We have the, still the hawking, the running man, panda and turtle. Those details don't doesn't matter because I can go deep in all positions like the four hours. I just I will show what they are and I will do some drills. And if you're meant to lose, and then you do it again, you fix your mistakes, do it again. And so it just it's like a good job, takes you six months to make it work, I guess. So it's it's losing. Losing is important. And you know, like like they say, the play is the most kind of important learning tool I think you just play and if I just teach you technique you get bored because it's so much details and uh, you don't have experience why you need all details you haven't lost enough so if you lose enough then you understand why this everything is the works so uh, basically it's gonna be elbows close it's uh, I think mo if you've done jiu-jitsu for a while most people have heard keep your elbows close and everything else but usually people don't elaborate on that a lot. Where, where, where is the elbow close, you know? Where it has to be close. So it's specific click, it uh, makes it very strong. And it's, uh, if you don't allow anybody to have underhook, like uh, over there or over there, uh, then YouTube is dead, yeah? There's no Darces, Marces, Barces, Larces, <laughs> Anacondas, Armbars, Kimuras, what else? There's pretty much nothing is there. So, and another, the second complexity would be like, I would control this part, so they can have seat belts, all kinds of turtle seat belts, front, side. But we start this, and if you guys are doing a good job, then we go on. But I'm just gonna show you that how this small thing can make a difference. You're gonna still lose an end in a sparring. It won't help you because you need other things. It's like a teaser that what can you do, actually. And uh, it's, uh, Jiu Jitsu is way more simple than you actually think. Defensively, it's way more simple. And um, I'm, uh, I'm trying to send a message out that we should do a better job teaching that. So, uh, uh, ideally, uh, you can have like a, we have, uh, it's like 45 to the mat, yeah? So that's the body position. How their legs are, who cares? The elbow is here, yeah? So, running man is 45 degrees to the mat. So, this is 45 here. This is 45 here, yeah? So still the elbow is there. If you go upright, side control, sitting turtle, panda, you know. Uh, so the same thing, elbow is close. And from here, if you go turtle, your elbows are here. You can have seal feet or not. Uh, we're doing experiments these days also with seal feet. And, uh, but the main thing is elbow is close. And other details, they don't matter. Okay, so uh, just go over those lightly like uh, I don't know 30 seconds 40 seconds think about 45 to the mat elbow is here really glued we're gonna teach you why and how and where so you go running man think about this elbow main thing you can go panda you can go turtle and the slope as you want the main thing is elbows are in and later they can only attack one time they cannot do like a double so you have time to close it and you know, so try it 40 seconds and then uh, we move on. Don't clap. Okay, so just uh, first uh, drill with the partner. So, okay, turn, uh, turn, uh, 
back to me, turn your back. And uh, turning your back and relax, yes, relax, yes. <laughs> Yeah, turning your back is awesome, yeah? If somebody tells you don't turn your back, they're lying. Yeah, so you have to have both. It's like jab doesn't work without the hook. Uh, jab doesn't work without the cross. This is totally fine, this is totally fine. I guess it's not fine to go there if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, but if you know what you're doing, so, so I guess people who advocate more like don't turn away, maybe they don't know what they're doing. So they should and then they sh should stop advocating those things because it's dangerous because we're programming people. And we have to be accountable as coaches. So, uh, main thing is I want, wait, uh, my main thing is I want this elbow to the hip pulse later, but this has to be, there's no underhook. So if he goes to running man, the turn. So this has to be, I'm always looking for this. Goes the turtle. So I'm always looking, I want it to be close. I don't mind the other, other arm right now. Go back, running man, and go panda. Yes. So I want this to be close. So just a partner exercise. Right, thank you. Just, just a partner exercise to understand what I'm doing. You move around. And later it's both and everything, but I give you the, the easiest complexity. Okay? So, and I would later do this to the hip. So you can actually reinforce this space by this is more open. I guess you have see the knuckle and stuff. This is more closed. Yeah, later is this also. But I just want, and only, also you can go underhook only with one arm. If you have two arms, then they need two arms to defend. So just one arm and underhook should be, and later we talk about pummeling also. So test this, they go underhook, they can't. You go running man, they can't. Now it's a turtle or panda. And just go left and right, go left side, right side, switch on your own, do it very lightly, so to speak, so you get it, and just keep your elbows close. And only one side and then other side and stuff like this. Let's go. Positions, single <coughs> positions, and then defend the elbows, and then we put everything together. But that's kind of the point is, the, there's a hawking running man, panda, turtle, and a baby bridge that's we, we and Vim and me are promoting. It's like a planet, another planet, you know? Like a position, another position. I don't know if it's a four and a half or it's the fifth position. It's like a Pluto, you know? You know that? I don't know. So that's not, it's like a, because it's a, all the positions I do are, are more like, you know, crouched. Yeah, we call this also Estonian youth. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's like everybody's like so. This position is like uh, all the time. <laughs> so, uh, but but baby, which is extension. So it's the opposite of this. Yeah. So I don't know. It's like a Pluto. So I'm still deciding. Is it like a you know position or a, I don't know. So anyway, uh, gives my mind to something to do during the nights. Uh, so now only panda. So you usually can turn back. So uh, wait. So this panda, you die, yeah? Literally, I think. Yeah, this panda, you don't die. It's always good to threaten people, you know, with death. Then they lessen you, yeah? Okay? That's really hard joke, both my, okay, I'm not doing that joke anymore, so. It's, uh, I was going a little bit the other way. So, if the elbows are in, go ahead, wait, elbows, wait, here. You can't stop my weight, yeah? And I will break your back. You have to put your arms on the mat. That's why it said you die, but it was a, so, elbows are out and it works like a wedge. So, it doesn't, it, you can't bend forward more. Because the wedge makes you bend from here, not from here. So it's kind of weird how it works. Main thing is you give them pressure. I know they want to pull and stuff, but it won't matter right now. Just go, just feel that there's no way you're going to get in. You can go one time like this. You can go one time like this and just feel it. Okay? Then you take a turtle, that same position basically. You can have seal feet, some of your like, legs are clo uh, like, uh, cold and toes are not flexible, seal feet, put your seal feet under your butt. You can lower your butt also, and the head is neutral. Later the head moves also, but the same thing. Yeah, everything is really tucked, and your job is to go underhook here, and underhook here, and what you find, you can. So that's the whole point. Okay? And then uh, let's do, like both of you, this, you know, turtle, panda, panda turtle, move on your own or switch on your own like a, i don't know you test 30 seconds both of them you get the point you can't go through they do it then we're done in one minute okay so let's go no clap uh, now they're gonna move between panda and turtle and your job is to get underhooks like un get underhooks so you never get them okay so and uh, you give them complexity they can manage and right now success ratio is 
through the roof. Okay, so no losing. So everything is super, even if there's a gap, wait, even there's a gap, you just go like, they close it, and they can, yeah? So if you once do this, and they lose, you're a bad person, yeah? They always have to threat people, then they don't do it, yeah? So your job is to give them success. If they're doing mistakes, you still have to show them that I'm coming, you're like, dun, 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 go elbow close, they do it, yeah? Okay, so they understand, yes, right away. So you don't make them lose, right away. False positives, all day, yeah, right now. So I want you to keep moving that, uh, doing this is, uh, success ratio is super high. Then we're gonna introduce reality later. Yeah, it's not that easy. But first, when you're learning stuff, that is, it's important that false positives, you get success a lot. So now, move between uh, pandas and turtles and figure it out. Go. So go panda and yourself. Go turtle, and just always, even if, I do, even if everything is good, they're moving around. Later you feel actually you have to post for a second because I'm gonna put more pressure on you and then you feel like you have to post, but then we cover this pummeling thing later. But right now it's kind of easy so they can move around and still keep the elbows and I can't get in. So the whole class name should be like kill the YouTube, yeah? Because after that there's nothing you can do. There's no attacks, okay? So uh, I have to get in. And also, this class is about how you attack, because you have to get underhook. And the, the better you are finding underhooks, the better YouTube works, because everything. So basically, you want them to open the door, you want to put the arm between, and they close the ar door arm between, you know? You, know, you get like a, your sense, your, uh, what's the English? Then you can choose whatever you want to do. It's like I do always do the matrix, matrix reference, you know, Agent Smith, phone, you went into the system, okay? No? Okay. The young people, yeah. yeah. Yes. yes. Right. Okay. So, uh, and also they can turn panda towards me. Sorry, kind of pull guard. No, no. Stop. Pull guard. And then, no, no. Relax. Uh, again. Slowly start to pull guard. Slowly. Stop. And then I, we pretend he never pull guard. He never pull. Uh, and then I move to behind, and now it becomes a panda. Understand? Panda, 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 panda. So if if you want that, you can start to slowly, you know, pull guard towards them, and they run all behind you and it becomes a panda. But you can also turn away yourself from them, so it becomes panda right away. So panda, turtle, turtle, panda, move around, do the drill like 30 seconds, switch on your own, and switch when you're high, yeah? When success ratio is high and your mind is fresh. Don't wait that you get really like tired, then you change. That's the bat. So change, everything is good, change. Everything is good, change. All the time change when you have a very good positive emotion. Then you want to keep training. Okay, let's go. No clap. If somebody has knees closed, it's easy to push and pull. Yeah? So knees wide, pyramid base, really good base. Okay, hand up. If you touch your legs, so you know. Yeah, knees wide, and close up, kind of, and you can lean forward. Yeah. So this knees wide gives you base, left and right. So it's not that easy to yeah, get handled. So, uh, continue. Let's go. So, panda. So, uh, both, uh, I use panda example usually because it's, you can see it more. So, now a little bit family. So, first, it's very, everything is closed, blah, blah, blah. Yeah? So, it, it's a specific position because its elbow is more out. Clearly, there's more underhooks. Yeah? Elbow is more in. Actually, I can press and it's, it's easier to get in. So, if elbow, if underhook gets in, you cover, you pummel back. Yeah? So you, like uh, Chris Payne's like to, I think he said at first that he, he, this is what we teach is more fighting out of the posture, like boxing. Pump, pump, you fail, come back. You, I, can also, I can also teach this that underhook, you do this, I do this, you do this, I do this, and then it's like a 10 move complexity you can't handle. Yeah, so right now it's just we deny everything. So first of all, we deny, and then we get in, he covers, and then pummel in and back to zero. Super annoying to fight those people, yeah? Uh, they tell, yeah? So, and what you cannot do, obviously, here, oh, pummel, stop. You cannot do this, yeah? The elbow is close, so there's later, if you want to raise complexity, there's no double attacks. If you do this, that's what I'm looking for. I'm faking here, looking for that mistake. So that's, in the future, we, we would have more time. So, anyway, understand this, that there's nothing, and there, there's something, yeah? And then you pummel, this is closed, and everything is good. Same happens in turtle. So it's even harder, actually, if the arm gets in, you pummel it out. 
And everything is basically dead. Like if you worry about clock, clock jokes and everything, if they don't get the underhook, there's not, nothing's there. So it's actually super weird. So let's just add this element because you need to post later. Some of you already opened your elbows a bit when you move around, so you need to manage always if you post, do something, you manage complexity and then pummel it in. So you can actually go from here, do YouTube stuff, but for you today, it's like go back to zero, deny everything. And it's just super weird to roll with somebody who denies underhooks you. You just can't do anything. Okay? And then they call you annoying. Yes. Continue. Only this move, uh, just fix it, and then we add drills. Um, let's do a drill we call War and Peace. If you, uh, there's actually, do the, uh, uh, let's, uh, let's do a War and Peace. So, two minutes, I will tell you when to, when, what's happening. So, War means you go to 80 to them, yeah? Not to you, but 80 to them. 80% 80 of resistance to them. And peace means you do as you, as you did. Peace means everything is calm, success ratio is through the roof, everything is easy, you calm down, fix your mistakes, and war means they go really hard. But for you, yeah, 80 for you. If there's a weight difference, so you do 80 for them, it's very important. Uh, so, and they have to defend underhooks, running man, pa uh, sorry, panda and turtle only, we add running man later. And if they get in, you pummel. So we have a, like a plan B and there should be a CD also. Yeah, but right now just do everything you can, just move around and just hold those elbows. Even with all the strength you can and not efficiently. Later, it's, you know, you have to relax a little bit. And if they're coming here, you tense up here, this is more relaxed but not open. So they cannot attack all the places at once. So you move around your tension later. So it's like a boxing, you can't just hold this arm, you know, you have to be relaxed. And then when it needs to, you tense a little bit, but it's first you're very super inefficient. You get tired a lot because you're using the you know, wrong coordination, so to speak. So, war piece, uh, two minutes, and then I'll feel a change, and then other person for, for peace. So we have to introduce you to reality. You have to lose a bit, yeah? And also, if they get in, in a war, so think about one point. If you keep the arm in three seconds, the top guy gets one point in your mind, whatever it means to you, yeah? You get a victory lap in your head. <laughs> So you get in before they, maybe they pummel it out also, but you have three seconds to hold the arm in. And if you can't do it, then you win and then you reset yourself. And 30 seconds is on and so you continue. Okay? So, ready? First drill. And now, no talking. What? Uh, I just started one. Uh, ready? And peace. Panda, turtle, move around. Move around with panda and turtle. Elbows, 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 elbows. Only panda, turtle. Right now is peace. Relax. Success ratio is through the roof. Success, success ratio is through the roof. Put the pressure on, lean on them. Three, two, one, four. Now go 80 for them. Pressure them, go 80 for them. Deny all underhooks. Do not take them, uh, what, what the saying? Give them nothing, take from them everything. 10 seconds, go, go, go. Underhooks, do not give them any underhooks. Defend with all you got. Peace. Now fixing mistakes, calm down, relax your face muscles. Fix your position. Fix your position, add details. Ten seconds till the last war. Three, two, one, war! Panda, turtle, turtle, panda, panda, turtle. Put pressure off. Ready? So this is the smallest complexity, yeah? Jiu-Jitsu is not that small. But if I show you that, you can actually defend, and so the old Jiu-Jitsu can be like this. So we slightly always raise complexity and learn, teach you how to handle complexity. If I 
right away introduce you everything, you can't handle it. So this is where you start, and then, okay, seat belt on cradle, on the neck, and so then the you know, hooks come in. And finally, you understand why you're doing all the time like this, but it's impossible to teach, because you have to understand why certain things are. But you have to be like a less movement, and then let's build it up. Let's drill, build it up, add stuff, let's build, drill it up. So that's the whole point. Switch, peace. Everything is easy, put the pressure on, under hooks. Under hooks, lean forward. So this is the way I usually teach in a class and this is how I do seminars. And uh, there's a reason for that because I think techniques are harder sometimes to learn. Because if I would teach you a sweep, then what's the context? What's the counters? What, blah, blah, so many questions. So in one way, I'm, I'm not doing a good class because it's, that's not enough for sparring because you definitely need more stuff and more ideas. But also I wanted to show you how you can manage complexity and you actually can be that black belt defensive uh, skill owner. Because if the complexity is very little, you can actually manage. And then all the attacks come in and then you freak out. But we can get there. Actually, there's the ways to go there. So, so I, I want you to have that feeling. And also I want you to have that feeling that how Jiu-Jitsu I can teach. Because it's all about those games and drills. And it's fun and it's losing and winning and it's playful. Yeah, it's always natural, so to speak. And you need techniques, but they, there has to be a delivery mechanism. And then you add techniques to the delivery. It's like teaching jab and cross without having any ideas about footwork or body you know, positioning and then you know, only attacks. You can't start with that. But usually, the, so this actually what I'm trying to do, I always said that this is me trying to teach you like escaping footwork. Usually people develop passing footwork, you know, and guard stuff, switching grips and stuff, but I'm trying to understand also how to teach, you know, defensive jiu-jitsu, and it, this cannot be it, you know? We have to move. And moving target is the hardest target. So, and then we add escapes. So, uh, now running man. It's actually the nothing changes, you just add the position, you have the same rules. So, usually, completely. So, running, go running man, whatever you remember about running man. So, it's all wrong. <laughs> Good coaching, yeah? <laughs> no, yes, but give me the elbow, yes, yes, exactly. So, uh, a little bit less, and then turn. All right. Right. Yes, and uh, don't kill yourself, <laughs> yes. So, uh, and elbows closed, yes. So, uh, and the uh, Estonian youth. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes, okay, so good. So, so not that. yeah, yes, yeah, so Estonian youth. So. I think it's all around youth, but I think it's Estonians. Yeah. So, uh, so, yeah. Other way, maybe you get offended if I say German youth or something. I don't know. People get offended these days too much. So, so elbow has to be out, yeah. And here, so you can turn parallel because if the elbow is in, you can't turn, yeah. If the elbow is here, it cannot stops you going parallel. So, elbow is under, but just not that I get underhook, just a little bit, yeah. So the main thing is this. I'm looking for this, and we call this, you know the Greco-Roman shoulders and stuff, so it's more parallel. So there's pulling and pushing attacks and hookers. But right now it's only underhook. And also, this is cradle attacks are there, so don't worry about those things. It's obvious, it's there, leg locks. But right now, today, it's only about underhooks. Okay, so lower your knee, yes. So if this is same as turtle, see that? And if somebody, go, oh wait, wait, if somebody goes, I can go through this by just doing here, yeah? And I just go, boom. But if, if this structure is so strong that you have to, I have to create that kind of space to accelerate myself, go through, then this is all about the escapes. And if you can escape this time, I cannot help you. Yeah? So it's like somebody, I'm going to punch you in the face, and if you can't defend you know, <laughs> that punch, I can't really help you. OK? So, so it's, if I'm actually fighting them yeah, really close, this is super hard to go through. If I will go through here, this is escape already. So it's all structure. Those all positions are meant to slow time down and force opponent to create space that they can actually go through. And every time they create space, they actually that's your timing to escape. And then you time it better and better and better, and finally you can succeed. So it's all about survival, not about escapes. I couldn't care less about escapes. They're not important. Okay. So. 
and running man is this and close close yes and you just start it and then when somebody gets through you pummel yeah relax yeah right. we so. elbow in the face a little bit so <coughs> just pummel yeah right. and you can grab my fingers yes and you just pummel and you can also go the uh, turtle <coughs> and then pummel yes you figure it out it's, go, it's already like okay now make this choice make that choice also come back running man you can also go panda and then pummel yes. who cares okay so uh, just add running man to the mix uh, let's do a, like a small drill without the foreign piece just like a successful drill so you move around running man panda turtle you can defend or you can pummel yeah so that's your job as a top person give them that idea they're moving around and also it answers a little bit the question a little bit that if you get pulled back, so if you get pulled back, you go to turtle, correct? Or now you have a chance to also land a running man. If you get pulled back, you're late, you land a running man. And then you get out, yeah? The hawking is the latest, so to speak. So it's all answered. A little bit, move around. Top guy, you have a job. Bottom guy, move around. All those three positions. And then defend or pummel. Only this, each 30 seconds, and that's enough already. Let's go. And, and the positions because we have a hawking and you know a running man and uh and, and turtle so only hierarchy i can create and make sense you can create your own it has to make sense also is uh, which leads to more stand-up so if you watch all the wrestlers and stuff so panda is actually wrestling sit out yeah because we have i can stay there the guy can play head forward and i can also from panda do hip heists forward and do the wrestling hip heists so sit out this from wrestling and Eduardo Tellas. It's kind of a mixture of that and it's inspired and I, I play it a lot. So, but those guys are wrestling as a sport and Tellas as a person. Mostly I've seen those things they, they play. Uh, so, and uh, so running, uh, pa, uh, sorry, Hawking is more 45 to the mat. So running man is towards the mat, Panda. And then from turtle, I think it's the easiest to stand up. I would say that's what wrestlers do. So that's the hierarchy again. So, Yes, that's my answer. So if you can create something else, I guess it, you have to just you know, kind of explain it why. So uh, all the, I teach all the escapes to stand up. Uh, I think if you just pull guard and get guard, I think it's exception. It's super hard to do actually against a good guy because it's a specific answer to a very specific problem. And you have to have not a lot of experience to actually pull off something like that. So I teach mostly from everywhere, from mount, from side control, from whatever it is, I teach you to stand up. I do it a lot myself. I stand up, I go away, I turn, and then I pull guard. And then I just start to make it shorter and shorter and shorter. And finally, I pull off from turtle, like, let's say from turtle bottom, right away guard pull. But mostly what I do is, or, let's say if I get to the turtle, so basically what I do is this, I'm going up, and then I'm just, Pulling guard. So that's my guard pull. So I don't want to pull guard from there. I actually want to create the most distance and then I pull guard. And then it teaches you the most because it's a very nice thing to do and they have to learn how, how to keep me on a mat because that's their job. Uh, if nobody stands up, you're going to lose that skill because you don't hold people down because nobody stands up. So you think you're good, but actually you're not. If you meet a wrestler, then you understand you actually can't hold people down. So our guy, wrestling, you know, takes people down. And jiu-jitsu, you have to keep them down, also using wrestling, and that's your job, yeah? You have to uh, uh, put the fight to the mat, so you have to keep people there. You know, you have to be like a Cain Velasquez of MMA, you know? They turtle, body lock, back down, body lock, back down, force them to the da, and then finally you have the chance to maybe choke them, but after you hold, hold them down and put them back on a mat like six times. So that's the fight. And so I, I usually, yeah, stand up, pull guard. Super annoying uh, for other people, because nobody expects you to go up from turtle. Everybody expects you to pull guard. So I would recommend this. It's a very different mindset than usual, just pull guard right away. So, and because I don't like to teach specifics, because it's a very good, but you need so much experience to pull off specific answers. So I like more like a broad answer that works against everything. And then you start to have more of experience, and then we can talk about specific answers. And uh, so, uh, now the same drill. War and peace. I, I understand you love that drill, yeah? A lot of laughing going on in a war. So, uh, by the way, you can't tickle, yeah? yeah? 
Actually, this was not a joke. One guy asked me like a couple of weeks ago, that like, can I do this? He went like, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> and so, yeah, so it's like no tickling, you know? So uh, maybe later, but not, not in this class or something, you know? <laughs> maybe if you know people more, so you can just, yeah. So uh, now add running man uh, or running woman or running it. I don't know how I, how, how I should talk about these days. In Estonian language, we don't have genders. We don't have, we don't have she and he, so to speak, yeah? We have it. So it's very progressive language, so I always tell people. So, uh, so running man could also be running it or something, you know? So it, the main thing is like, you, you cannot be this. Think about force your body, like a objective would be like your chest, your chest should be uh, 45 to the mat, yeah? Right now it's not. So, <clears throat> so just now, now it can be more close to the mat. So if you understand that, then you move your elbow away yourself. So figure it out. And just keep it. And then the same, same rule, panda and turtle, yeah? Same leg here. If you do this, it's not the same, yeah? So keep this there. And all other attacks, I don't care. OK? So war and peace. Now you can be pushed and pulled and move yourself between those three, posi the three positions. If we're attacking, are we allowed to double up on an arm? Say again? If we're attacking, can we double up on an arm? Like no. That? No. Right now, like a, if they're super good, why not? But if you're just teaching the smallest complexity, then it's not. It's just uh, and just try to go through. And what you have to learn, actually, uh, even with this, that's a good question. That can we go double up because it's you're stronger? But what I actually said, right, not not today. But what you can do, try to attack them during transitions, because then everybody's open, white belt and black belt. That's why good guys get beat up, because uh, they, they, they lose during transitions. So if they go from running man to turtle, try to put your arm in there. If they go from panda running man, maybe they open up. So the static positions are super strong. They're meant to be in the end. If you know them very well, they're super strong. And you have to create a movement and attack them during transitions. So that's also a very good habit since the, you know, day one. OK? So uh, partner up. War and peace, two minutes. Three positions. In my second class, we're going to do more hawking because we're going to do mouth bottom. So I can talk about that position too. But it's, we don't have time right now to play it. But that's more like side control-ish. And then my, my suggestion would be like, now you roll and you know, open mats and stuff. And notice why you're getting tapped or why you're getting in trouble. So I would say, I don't know, nine out of 10 or something, you know, like it's underhook. Because underhook also seat belt is underhook, yeah? So uh, I will show you, maybe some of you are following my work, but I will show you just how to cancel, let's say, like I said, Dars, Mars, Bars, Lars, Anaconda, and Guillotine. So, but I would have to add this neck thing. Don't do this, that's the second, that's first. Yeah, if you play whatever, a turtle or panda, and that's first. Yeah, and that's second. So first is this, and then maybe a cross, maybe a play. So it's another thing. But I will just show you how to kill everything. And then you add the complexity and stuff if you want, and add more techniques when you're ready, because it gets so boring. Yeah. So you're saying in total, don't turtle like this? Uh, no. Why is that? Uh, because I said so. <laughs> <laughs> that's always good, yeah? From the person who dis dislikes authority, it's always good to go like, because I said so. It's very funny. Yeah, no, no. Uh, any other turtle is, seems to be inferior, less, yeah, than what I promote and what Telus does. So, uh, so I play like this, but I can handle complexity. You have to attack from here, also like wrestling single legs and stuff. But as a defensive structure, this hooks and everything happens. And you protect your neck, I guess, but the hooks and everything goes open. So here, just there's nothing. So, but if your hands are up near your neck, why are you like that? Uh, hands so are up on the neck, so I do this. Yeah. So, and I, you, I would say both are good, but this is first. Yeah. You actually are stronger if you test this. And then I use also boxing shoulder, you know. So, I always can do that joke, you know, this is actually how it started. We call this a Stephen Hawking. <laughs> and then people got offended, and then the joke is usually that the guy is genius, so is this move. Yeah? So it's then, the, then it's like, ah, oh, then it's a really smart joke, yeah? <laughs> so, yes. So, but nowadays it's more, the, more talking about uh, uh, boxing shoulder and stuff, but this is how it started. So I do this. I don't do I can if I want this free, but usually do this first. And if I teach pandas and turtles, it's always this. 
and then I then I mess with so it's a handwork. So uh, and uh, just to show you how it's how it's done, just to inspire. What would be the next layer? And so this I do like eight hours during seminars. There's some talking stuff and like, like usually, and then it's like drills and drills and drills and and finally we can pull off in a second in the next day. So that's the whole point. I don't want you to like just uh, just forget it, you know. So and how to cancel most things? Uh, so let's say uh, anaconda. Go. Anaconda joke. Yes. Stop. Go back. So go. If I just don't go, if I just don't give him underhook and I grab his fi like four fingers, go go. Okay, I, I do this, yeah, so go back. So, uh, they're gone. Let's say uh, Dars, yeah, Dars joke. Yeah. Go this arm deep in, yeah, and then you, yes, go, go back, yes, go back. So, go Dars. Go Mars, go Bars, go Lars, <laughs> nothing works. The Ruby Nectar is the same, Dars, they can't get in. So I just do this, I do this, I just sit there. And if they want to have guillotines, slowly go. Guillotines, go back, go back. So I put my shoulder there, go. And now I grab the fingers and everything is gone. So, thank you. So with that structure, you just sit here. Seal feet or toes on a mat, they're both good. That's it, that you sit here. Very complex. If the opponent is right, if he's neutral, in front of you or behind, or if he's left. So the whole system is very complicated. You say that again. Say <laughs> again? You say it again? No. Okay. <laughs> Same one. Uh, left and right. Uh, yeah, if the opponent is right, then you look at him, and if there's front or behind, you just do this, and then if the left, you do this. Super complicated. Yeah, and then you just deny everything and grab his four fingers, that's legal, and then nothing happens. And that's the, that's the like, a smallest complexity I can give you. And then you get so bored playing that, that you want to escape, you want to try new things, you want to, you're ready to add techniques. Because you know that the most, uh, three, three minutes left, uh, most often the criticism is Jiu Jitsu is like so much techniques, you know? You teach, like you learn, like, you know, every class two techniques, uh, two you train twice a week, so it's four techniques you can never forget. In a two, two weeks it's eight techniques, in a month it's 16, you can do the math. And very often people are like, I cannot even, I didn't learn the previous one and now it's already new techniques. I know as a beginner, you know, you learn more in a beginning, but in certain stages, it cannot be like this. Because this makes it super complicated. So that's why I like this. And then you get super boring. And a black belt and white belt can learn in the same class because black belt can open up and handle complexity and try stuff. And white belt just sits there until they're bored to the death. Yeah, and then, Coach, I want to learn something, yeah? And then you teach them technique. That would be ideal, you know? You teach them a little bit earlier, but you get the point. So, other way, because if you, if, if you do this very good, and if there's a black belt in your weight class that cannot go through this turtle, and you can just keep this turtle, this turtle is a black belt turtle. It's the, the black beltness is not defined by complexity, and I know more 20 sweeps than you do. I just deny everything you do, you, your stuff doesn't work, and I pull guard. That area of Jiu Jitsu is a black belt then. And then during times you start to add this sweep and that sweep and but it's usually easier to you know pull guard so to speak. Attacking back means you're gonna reach. And reaching is trouble usually, yeah? Reaching means you're open. So and that way I think Jiu Jitsu can be more easier to understand. It's it's I think it's based on a technique, technique method, makes it super complicated to learn. And if you do any other arts like guitar and music, you learn differently. And if you do jiu-jitsu, we're doing something not correct. I think we should study what other, other arts are doing. They're, they're, I think they're learning differently. So this was a small introduction, how I do things and how I think. And then next class, we start you know, with the mount stuff, and then we continue. So, so if uh, you like what I do, I'm free. If you don't like it, we never met. <laughs> yeah, thank you.